We got you! We got you! And more to come. We got you! We got you! And more to come, clown. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So hopefully, honestly, this is just the first squad domino to fall, but one of the most radical members of the most radical group in Congress is finally being held to some sort of account for their insurrection-like actions. That's exactly what they were. And getting led away to some sort of justice. But before we get into that, guys, thanks so much to everyone that's been subscribing and leaving such great comments. Building a great community. I really appreciate the support. If you haven't already, guys, help us to continue to grow. Like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. So yeah, guys, if you don't at least feel like there is a two-tiered system of justice in this country, that there's one set of rules for you, and another for the powerful, then honestly, in a lot of ways, I really, really envy you, man, because it would be nice to believe that. I absolutely believe that there is a two-tier justice system. I know for a fact that if I committed a federal gun felony, I wouldn't still be negotiating my deal six years later. And here's the thing, even watching Jamal Bowman get arrested, which I'm about to show you, I think still raises even more questions about our justice system because Democrats and Republicans, well, they aren't even arrested the same. Take a look at this. It is lawyers suggest he relied on his former legal team for advice. And onto a Fox News alert, Congressman Jamal Bowman turning himself in moments ago. Fox News cameras capturing this exclusive video of the squad member surrendering. The lawmaker from New York is expected to plead guilty after being charged with falsely pulling the fire alarm at a congressional office building. It happened just before the House voted on a stopgap spending bill to fund the government. Last month, Bowman is set to be arraigned at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. His colleague, Congressman Congressman Mike Lawler joins us live to react in about 20 minutes. Those are your headlines, guys. A lot going on. Why he did this yet? I mean, is the he just, like, just to delay a vote? That's what Republicans We say. have so many questions. <laughs> I think that well, he... That's an exclusive video of him. <laughs> but he's, apparently, he, Carly, he's going to plead guilty, right? Yeah, and I think it's because he's getting a plea deal. So that's why he's yeah. pleading guilty. But... So, yeah, I mean, the people on January 6th who chased Congress off the floor and interrupted in official congressional proceedings, they were charged with a felony. And you know, you can make the argument, you can make a million videos on the fact that our government probably has about 2,000 laws too many, at least. But you can argue the fact that those people did break that law. There's no denying it. No matter what side you're on, no matter what you believe happened that day, those people broke that law that does exist. Jamal Bowman broke that very same law. He obstructed Congress when they were trying to keep the government open and operating. And here he is pleading guilty to a misdemeanor. You know, I'm not going to pretend to sit here and be an attorney and opine on what is exactly the same and what is different. But I am, just like you guys, perceiving what's going on here. And if perception really is reality, well, then the reality here is not very good. You know, it's not at all. It's not good. Not at all. You know, especially considering that he's basically flaunting that he got away with things as he virtue signals that he's fallen on his own sword and actually taken responsibility. I mean, come on, man. No one believes that you thought that was a button to open a door. And honestly, you know, preferential treatment from federal authorities or not, if you really are dumb enough to make that mistake, then my friend, you have no business in Congress making laws that can affect the rest of us. No business. Anyway, that's just my take, guys. Let me know yours in the comments. And if you haven't already, and also let me know if you think this is justice. And guys, if you haven't already, join us. Like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.